Say hi, Larry. Hi, I didn't get your back. Oh, God, it's on his nose. He's eating it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be sugar cooked, but it don't taste good. Today, we're grooming our dogs at home. Step one, the bath. Larry took one for the team and went first. Yeah. Did you get your bath? Clyde was next and he was less excited about the process. <laughs> After the bath, it was time for the haircut. Joni B is taking a million for the team here because she bathed them and strimming them. Clyde went first this time because, let's be real, he's the one that really needs a haircut. We used Andis dog clippers that we picked up at our local pet store for the bulk of the haircut. However, once it gets around the feet, Clyde can't really deal with the clippers anymore, so we use a nice fancy pair of scissors to clip around there. Disclaimer, we're not professionals. However, Joni B works carefully not to nick or cut the dogs, and so far, so good on that front. Even with Clyde's antsiness, she still gets the job done. Clyde, it was Larry's turn. This one is a little trickier. If you followed us for a while, then you know our sweet Larry was abused and neglected. So when we got him at five years old, he already had severe anger issues. He's on medication and is working through them beautifully, but we still have outbursts every once in a while. Super! I'm so proud of you! This may seem a little scary that he's nipping and barking like this, but trust us when we say this is amazing. He was a real trooper throughout this process. You're the best boy ever. Ta-da! There was our not a tutorial quarantine grooming session. Now for one blooper. Let me set the scene. While Clyde was being trimmed, Larry was crying inside to come out. So I put him in the stroller to bring him outside. He then lunged out of the stroller and had me chase him around. Let's roll the clip. Thanks for watching, y'all.